What's up guys, Indigo Da here. Just a quick note before we get started with this video. I unfortunately left my uh, TV on when I was recording. My niece was here, we recorded quite a bit for this episode, but I'm only showing this one piece because the sound is really off. So I took the commentary sound off and I'm just using the sound that came through my mic. So that's my commentary, my niece, and the sound that was coming from my TV. So it sounds a little off, but I thought I would show it anyways because I've been chasing Magda for quite a while and we finally caught up with her in this episode. So I thought you guys would like to see that. Hope you enjoy. What's up guys, uh, Indigo Die here again with my niece. We uh, oh. playing a little Diablo. Yeppers. Uh, last time we left, we got to this point here, the Lair of the Witch, which is where we do have to go. But there's a couple of places in this, uh, this den of torture where people are hanging on stakes and... People are obviously being tortured and all kinds of nasty, bad things. Clearly they just, if they're on the stick, clearly they just want it to be a kebab. Yeah, they, they, uh... Or a vine. Or a wrecking ball, so their dream has come true. I came out like a wrecking ball! But they were more than likely tortured horribly. And Algarnus is still safe from the sudden madness that plays Caldeo. Though we are seeing an influx of food and pilgrims for some tackle of holy day, the demons out there are keeping their distance. I will double the guard at the gate. We must not be unprepared if our luck turns. Okay. Funny. Aw, you picked it up. <laughs> so just clearing up this area around here. So yeah, there's a couple of little... Uh, Can we go down here? Why can we go down here? Hmm. That was useless. Exactly. So yeah, so we're gonna go back down here and check out these two little uh, these two little areas that we can go clean them out before we take off to the lair of the witch. One right here, Sandy Cellar. I can't carry any more. Hello. Take care of these baddies. Oh, what? I left. Oopsies. I like how you call them baddies. Yep. Yep. They're baddies. Because that's the epic way of calling bad guys bad guys. That's baddies. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Need more time. Nope, you shall not. You shall not. Uh, more sacrifices going on. See, look, Ooh, there was a look. big, there was a big like animal here that they cut open, and his ribs are hanging everywhere. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> Missive to Magda, part one. This hero means to attack you, Alcanus. If I were you, I would set a trap at the Casim outpost. But I am not you. For all I know, you wish to fail me again and force me to kill you. That would grieve me. Then somehow, I think I could manage it. Well, Magda is not impressing her boss whatsoever. Nope. Alright, so we cleared out cleared what? out that one. Why am I glowing? Because we have a we we did that little uh we picked up a little power up, so if you go huh. to here. But it looks like that. it's just me, though. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mantra of healing. Or maybe it's one of the things you have equipped. Need more arcane maybe. Because look, it only looks like I'm going. Yeah, it's probably it's probably something that you have equipped. So oh. okay, where were we going here? We we're Oh yeah, we're going back up here. Another cellar. Alcarnus cellar. Deal with some more baddies. Oh, man. People being hung up on the wall. You're not a painting, sir. It's okay, Mrs. We'll get you down. Uh, eventually. I don't think we need to. I think they're already dead. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a necklace. 
Stop picking up Julie while we're fighting. Jeez. Fine. It's not like we want to look glamorous anyways. Goodness. Wee! Are you grabbing it or what? I can't. I oh. must lessen my burden. You right, must lessen back. your burden. Anything good? Indigo die. Uh, physical skill day. Sockets. Sockets are good. We'll worry about that later. I don't think we need to worry about it now. People hanging everywhere. Ooh. I cannot carry more. You cannot carry more. Oh, I couldn't pick it up. That was the problem. Okay. Uh, if you do that while you're running, it makes it seem more intense. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. But you sound like a dog. Buff, woof. By the way, if you don't know me, I have six dogs. Yas. Six dogs, eh? Yep. Doesn't help that my cousin's living with me and he has two dogs, so now we have six. Well, we originally have four. If you're going to tell everybody you have six dogs, you have to tell them what the names of the dogs are. Okay. My dogs, my four dogs, the oldest one is Diesel. He's a brown chihuahua. Um... Second oldest is named Dante. He is a white, long-haired chihuahua. Whoops. Uh, third one, he is second youngest, or you would say third oldest, whatever. He's Max. He's a Yorkie. He's the biggest dog in the house. He is huge for a Yorkie. And he was, and we thought he was going to be a teacup. But no, more like wheelbarrow. And last but not least the youngest milo he is the smallest he is a chihuahua a very small chihuahua he just turned one and he's like a blackish blue and my cousin's dogs i'm not sure which one's older but my cousin's dogs are teddy he is a shih tzu and he is very cute and smushy she's like the biggest cuddler so is coco she's very cuddly she is a black um, cockapoo, and she is very cuddly as well, and, um, yeah, I don't know which one's older. Do you like having a lot of dogs in the house? Actually, I really don't mind it, but the only thing that I don't like is about Coco when I'm trying to get to sleep. Coco comes in my room, and then the door closes, and then I have to get out of bed so I can open the door for her. But, yeah, they're all really cute, and I like having dogs hold on, hold in general. On, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's nice to have lots of dogs around. I mean, keep your company. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if your dogs in your house can keep your place safe, but uh, mm -hmm. but they keep your company anyways. Most of them can. And recently, Max ran up a skunk's butt. Like, he's just running, he's just charging to a skunk's butt. Great. So, the house stinks. You watch him with tomato sauce? Uh, I'm not quite sure, because I was away that day. Oh, I see. So, I hear from my mom and my dad. Um, yeah. So... But me. Yeah. <laughs> we finally I've been chasing Magda down for I don't know how long now our objective is to kill Magda that probably won't be that easy uh, a battle um, it'll probably take a little while so we'll have to get there kill Magda in the lair of the witch in El lair of the witch in Alcarna so that's where we're going um, so this could be a pretty epic battle Oh. oh. No illusions to hide behind this time. I didn't think you were brave enough to face me in the flesh. It matters not. While you hunted me, the Lyle's Imperial Guard captured your little witch, Leah. Soon, her power shall be his. Hmm. She looks totally like a Maleficent butterfly. Well, Leah. Who can disagree with that? I'm going to have to save Leah. Mm, I froze her. Or at least tried to. I need arcane power. That's just unfair. Oh, she's not, she's not, not too bad. I thought she was going to be harder to beat. But. Freeze. Die, people. Oh, gosh. I'm stuck. Spam. Spam. Oh, no. 
No, I'm frozen. I froze. Wow, Magno is almost dead. This. Wow. Yeah. Spamming! <laughs> ah! There I am. Get out of here. Alright. The coven overthrown. I can't pick up anything else. <laughs> okay, you can have the rest. <laughs> well, hold on. There's lots of stuff you can pick up. You just gotta decide what you want. So, um, okay, hold on. So the, everything that's yellow is mine. Everything that's blue is yours. Okay. So, oh, you picked I up. up. Oh, you leveled up, yeah, so. Wait, what? No. Ooh. Each enemy hit increases the damage of your fire spells for a short duration. Yas. For sure, for sure, Z's. Ooh, my tornado power has gone up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Reduce the cast and cost of the energy twister. Energy twister's damage turns into cold. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oh, what's this? This is new. Explosive blast. Gather energy and release it as a dev devastating blast. So that's your R1 button up here. Ooh, I'm special. I feel special. And let me go to my inventory, which was the main reason going into that. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so go over here. Let's go over here and drop stuff that we don't need. Ooh! So. Pow! So... Drop things that you don't Yay, I'm special. And Check this out, watch. Wait, 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 sorry, didn't mean to do that way. Um, this one. Pow! I can make tornadoes. Ooh, and they're blue. Alright, guys, well, we just re equipped ourselves. We beat up, uh, beat up Magda. Beat her up good. And uh, I thought she was going to be tougher to beat. I definitely thought she was going to be tougher to beat. That but, was actually uh, probably the easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it was, it was pretty easy. So, I have uh, a tornado just like my powers. So, let's see. I'm just checking out this uh, this room here and make sure we got everything. You killed the rat. You mean. Eh, I'm just kidding. I do. I've done that too. Not in real life, though. So... And uh, Magda's boss is not happy with her either. So he was gonna kill her, but we did his job for him. Does that mean we're part of the dark side? No, no, <laughs> we're okay. So now we must have a new quest, right? Return to the hidden camp. Okie dokie. Magda is dead. That I have done. But a greater enemy awaits me, her master Belial, Lord of Lies. I must return to Chaldeum and hope that Tyrael has learned something. I saved that guy a couple episodes back. Or else it will fall to me alone to tear away the veil of deception that hangs over this land. Let's go. So let's back, head back to the hidden camp. Whoosh. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Where are we here? So, uh, we can use that little blue transport pad to get back to the hidden camp. Okay. So we'll go back there. You have a little black hole under you. Yeah, I think we picked up something. You do too. Hmm. We picked up something while we were in there. Some kind of, uh. What is it? Uh. Mantra of Salvation, Aquila, damage is taken, strength in numbers. Where are we going here? Where is. Oh. Up and around, up and around. Up and around and up 
So we had a long day of killing baddies and all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to head back. Well, I am. I don't know about this one here. She seems to be taking forever to, to run around. So we're going to head back to town. That was one of those satchels. Hidden camp. Back to the hidden camp, see what, uh... Even as she drew oh. her last breath, Magda swore that her master, the demon lord, Belial, would rule our world. That will not come to pass while I still live. Well, you're dead, so... Too bad. Too bad, yeah. Um... Hey, so we're going to talk to T-Real here. He, uh, he was doing some research while we were running around. Let's see what he's got to say. Before I killed her, Magda told me that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. But at the Kasim outpost, the guards revealed themselves to be serpent demons of Belial. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. The only chance we have to rescue Leah is to wrest the Emperor from the grasp of the Imperial Guard. Ashira of the Iron Wolves can get us to the Emperor. I will speak with her. Okay, so we had to talk to Ashira at the gate of Chaldeum. Uh, now let's see. Oops. The gates of Chaldeum. So, go to the pulsing circle. Let's go to the pulsing circle. See what she has to say. My hand is left cheek. Fountain. Captain Ravan, the conditions out here are deplorable. Something must be done to aid these people. All right. Let's see what she. The emperor and my friends are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Arcanus. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this woman has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him receptive. Let them pass. People are being Thank you, kind peeps. Huh? Oh, jungle. And jangly, jangly jungles. I love jungles. All right, so uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna leave it here. Actually, we'll save it here, and then uh, Birdie. Uh, we'll we'll enter. We'll we'll talk to you here next time around, and uh, we'll enter the castle or uh, the the palace and see what uh, uh, what's going on in there. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Me from Indigo Die. Yep. My niece. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're uh, if you're interested and you want to see uh, when I put out new videos. Uh, and uh, take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye, butterflies. Oh,